What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are fishing some private water. Let's get right into it. y'all so we have just arrived to a private water fishing spot we are pumped to spend the whole day here if you guys want to check it out link down in the description you get to fish a lake all to yourself all day totally private man we always have a ton of fun out here this one is Hudson Lake out in Palestine Texas 19 acres of pure joy in this crisp 39 degrees maybe you can tell by the attire it's a little chilly today it is myself Ryan Rigg Devin is behind the camera Zeke is going to be on the boat as well. We got a full boat today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and drop this thing in. They've got a concrete boat ramp here. The place is absolutely beautiful. It has depths up to 14 feet and is surrounded by beautiful East Texas timber. There's plenty of structure and endless to spend a full day of fishing here. The water is generally the classic East Texas tea colored water with several laydowns and lots of vegetation to cover along the edges. While most of the fish in here are under 2.5 pounds, we expect a few giants to be caught here. The lake record is over nine pounds so we also have to take bass out of here that's true uh, anything under 14 inches this is the first private water fishing spot we have gone to where you need to remove all bass under 14 inches so we're gonna do exactly that we're gonna toss them in the live well and we're gonna get them out of here so anyways guys let's get ready for an epic day of fishing and launch this boat let's go oh. eight feet looking good okay Still got some footage back here, some feet. Nice. <laughs> we out here. Hudson Lake, baby. Let's get it. Clickbait lately. Let's go ahead and uh, toss this thing out first. Let's go to this dock and then let's cut across and see if that side's any different over there by that dock and stuff. Mm hmm. There's fish. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we just found them. We just found them. Oh, yeah. First one. One since so there's fish. The other guy. Yep. They are right under us, dude. Yeah, they're there. I'm sure he came right up underneath. Oh my him. gosh, that's a big one. Wow, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. That was nuts. As soon as I saw him on live scope, I was like, they're here. <laughs> we found some good grass, man. I saw him below the boat and then Ryan linked up as soon as I did. I don't even think I finished talking yet. Oh yeah, we got to actually measure this fish. Oh yeah, 15. He's going to make the cut. Yeah guys, so every bass under 14, we are going to keep and hold on to and get out of this lake. That way they don't eat all this bait and we keep those big ones for the members to catch. Pretty shallow it looks like. That chatter bait is going to be real good. Yeah, so Ryan got the first fish, y'all. It's about 10, 15 in the morning. We're all kind of rocking the uh, chatter baits and bladed jigs. Devin's throwing a big swim bait off the back. See if we can't find find a, uh, a lunker in the mix but we're just kind of working the bank line here we were on that side first kind of in the wind where ryan got the first fish and now we're over here where it's toned down a little bit pretty shallow even a ways out from the bank so uh, bladed jigs are going to be a staple in these depths find some more on that moving bite i threw the jig for a second we're going to see what hits and then we'll uh, get back with you oh big stuff big stuff right behind us this way it, it, on the move dude it's munching oh god they're in the grass right behind us 30 feet there we go yeah no chatter bait chatter bait nice. got one on the chat. yeah. hey you see over here over here that was first cast there was along the bank all right guys we might have started to find the fish I pulled this guy out from a different area of the pond that we've been fishing. We're gonna go ahead and get him on the board, see if he is going to make the cut. We're looking for a 14. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's right at it. He's right at it, just he, a little above. He makes the cut. You get to uh, hang out another day. First fish for me on that natural colored jackhammer chatterbait. Let's get him back in the water and get some more. Snoop. Shoo, bye. I don't know if a giant's gonna be roaming the bank, but if there's a nine pounder in here, <laughs> we gonna break out the goods real fast. What you talking, Willis? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Desperado. Big, big. Oh, it's you. <laughs> gotcha. Oh gotcha. It's a phony. Like, what the hell that doing? Yeah, I know. I was contemplating, like, should I just cast right warm. by the concrete? Yeah, it holds the heat. And then as we get up there more, you'll you'll be working it more frequently and you'll figure out what's right. You can actually, like, you know, put your weight, like the weight of your left foot on it as you work it. You'll get used to that. I imagine they'll start hitting over here. And if they don't, it's fine. Oh, there we go. Here comes some timber for y'all too. Biggest one of the day, maybe. It might be, it might be. Let's get this little guy in the boat. A little skinny. He's got a cool pattern though, and he's actually warming my hands up. I'm so cold, but uh, the water is warm here. He is gonna make the cut, I'm sure. Does not seem to be under 14 inches. All right, doubled up, man. Yeah. That's what we talking about. That's the biggest one of the day as far as length goes right there. That's 17 plus. Yeah, let me hit the spot lock. We might hang here for just a moment. What do you think about that, Zeke? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, too easy. <laughs> See ya. Ooh. There we go. Got us a little something something. Number five for the day. Yeah, what you got, Zeke? Hold on, let me just bathe in the glory let me just take these gloves off i don't want to get these wet because then my hands are definitely going to be freezing the whole day check them out zeke we got him double hooked all right man fish number five right off the bank on the square bill this is the mini recon Doo -doo 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 -doo. oh yeah he's like 12 and a half watch the full blade on that thing too yes, sir. <laughs> he's like if you're offering it up <laughs> Quick break, time for chicken minis. Let me hit this swoosh. Right down the middle, please. Yeah. Where them bass at? Something got it? You got it? That's what I thought, boy. We have resumed. We got him out of the tree with the T-Rig. I thought something might have had it, but I was unsure, so I didn't set the hook, as y'all know, because I was kind of like talking to this fish for a second. And uh, yeah, that's uh, how you do it. He's skinny, but he's gonna go for 14. These fish are, uh, they, need some, they need some bait out here. They are hungry for a little crawl. He was in the thick stuff, right out here in like two foot of water. Holy cow. That was nuts. Well, we're back from lunch break, y'all, and the winds have died down significantly. It might be like nine miles an hour, and this little particular pocket, we're kind of sheltered from it. So we're trying to just come up with a game plan for the second half of the day. Starting things off on a natural crack and craw, four-aught Guggen Squad hammer hook, quarter ounce Wu tungsten weight, all the stuff you guys can grab at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Let's see if we can't snag us another bass in the boat. Swoosh. Yeah, I know, because he wasn't letting go of it. I thought he might have been there for about seven seconds before I set the hook. This is the area where it's really shallow, right? It's kind of <laughs> deceiving because the grass over here is kind of... Yeah. yeah. Got him, nice. Hey, <laughs> All right, after lunch. <laughs> he had it. Nice. Woo! Hey. Yep. Oh. On a saucy? On a saucy. Very nice. 
Oh, that's probably like the healthiest looking one. Goodness. All right, bud. Bye. Look at this thing. Go, baby. Go, black man. The sauce. Get the sauce. Get the lipless, Billy. Where's the lipless? I'm about to catch all these fish. I haven't thrown a lipless in a while. Shotgun Shad, my fave. Yeah, it'll be better. <laughs> oh, Ryan's got the biggest one of the day out here. Oh no, <laughs> Ryan with the big end. Oh my. Okay, I thought I was going too long. I said, uh oh, I felt a tick. Zeke, hey, hey, Zeke, chill. Wasn't even recording. Look at that. Ready, chatterbait's gonna come out. <laughs> Chatterbait's pulling through all day. I was just about to tell y'all, I'm kind of switching it up. I'm going lipless. It's kind of a cross between the crankbait that I've been catching most on and the chatterbait, which they've been catching most on because you can kind of work it through the grass. But yeah, head honcho back here, getting the hogs. <laughs> what screen? Oh, Ryan's on with another one on the chatterbait as usual. Yep, yeah, I'm on that tree. Wow, oh, did you see that? Oh my god. Yeah. Feeling good. Oh, fish. <laughs> All right, there we go. That was just a few feet off the bank. <laughs> Zeke, off the rods. <laughs> Second one on the Texas rig for me, right off the dam here. Golly, hammer hooks. Another one in the books on the hot tamale. My, oh, Jesus Christ. Ow. All right. He's 14. 14 inches. <laughs> He's going back. <laughs> we are out of naturals, y'all. We're going with Okeechobee Craw now. We've got a little bit of blue flash for this slightly stained water. I feel like when I first used chatterbaits, I wasn't using them right. Was you! Broke me off. That might have been a big one. What? This is a new leader. No way. Mm hmm. I don't even want to retie a Texas rig. I don't have time for that. I got to catch that 20 pounder. 20 pounder. Well, I just broke off on what was arguably the biggest fish of the day. We haven't seen it, but we're just assuming that was it going for at least eight to nine pounds. So um, that was 15 pound line. So I'm estimating that thing to be at 16 or 17 because it snapped it. So. Might be a bass. Oh, it's on it. Oh, it, oh, oh on it turned on it. It wants it. He's he's bending it. Got him. Got him. Live scoped him. That was sick. Ah, oh, live scoped him. All right. We saw him whip at it too there for a second. That was cool. That was awesome. <laughs> that, that was live scope to the max. I have never caught a fish like that on a live scope almost. I mean, there's been like a handful of times where we've tried. Oh, and Devin had one on the T rig as well along the bank of the dam. No way. Z, get your sniff in. Yeah, good one. He's well over 14 inches, y'all. Let's get him back in the water. That's nice after breaking off a Texas rig. Get redemption on. The gridiron jig with crack and craw trailer with one section of the crack and craw detached. We were on this little tree right here looking at some crappie and then Ryan's like, I think that's a bass out there. Cast it towards it, boom. Game over.
y'all just wrapped up an epic day of fishing on the private water property Hudson Lake you guys check this one out down in the description we only caught about three under 14 inches everything else of course was over the size we got on some good ones we caught them on a variety of different baits and we had the place all to ourselves which is always a ton of fun check out Ryan Rigg down in the description and we'll see you guys on the next one y'all have a good one peace yeah.